All right, all right. We are rolling. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Fred D. Borges Show, and you are rocking with your host, Fred D. Borges. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. We are at 87 subscribers. Let's try to make it to 100 subscribers by the end of this month. We got, I don't even know how many days are in August, but what? It's August 7th as of right now since I'm recording at 12 a.m., so we have a long time. We have we have a lot. We have, what, three weeks? We have about three three weeks to go so i know that we'll be able to do it and once again thank you guys for the ones who are subscribed and thank you guys for the one that are tu the ones that are tuning in currently and today we have another sneaker review and we will be reviewing the retro four wet cements or the paris olympics whichever ones you want to call them because at the end of the day they're all the same shoe i saw people that were online arguing about what to call it but it's all the same shoe and we are going to get right into it. So first and foremost, let me tell you guys about this. The box, the presentation that, or better yet, the packaging that this box come in is very well thought out in my opinion. The box itself, you can tell it's wet cement. <laughs> like at the end of the day, the box, the texture, you can even feel that even it's 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 pretty it's rough you know it's rough it feels like cement and it's not just like some splattered bullshit um that they put together but no it's well thought out the texture it just feels like wet cement and the inspirations from what i read is from the streets of paris the wet cement streets of paris and the olympics to go along with it since the olympics is in paris this year um so that's that and we're gonna get right into it so let's talk about the shoe itself so the shoe itself in my opinion is very premium um they retail for 225 which can be which is a lot of money in today's you know today's society society in today's world it definitely is a lot of money but you know if you're wanting a shoe and this is 225 retail i would say jordan really did a good job with these shoes and it's well thought out like i said the packaging and everything um we're gonna start at the bottom of the shoe so we'll go right to the bottom of the shoe and this has herringbone traction all within the front or i'm sorry the top and the bottom of the shoe herringbone traction all pattern throughout the bottom of the shoe and then we're gonna go right up to the midsole right here and inside that polyurethane midsole is an encapsulated four foot air unit. And in the rear, there's a visible one. They actually ended up putting in Dream Cell, which I thought was pretty was pretty cool. Um, so that's that. And then we're gonna get right up to the toe box. And the toe box has this kind of rough material, which it, it's it's kind of like a suede but like a wet suede and it feels like it's been like dried out and you know they try to make it that texture of wet cement so I thought that was pretty cool what they did the netting where you see up on the side panel up here on the side panel the netting they did a little something different they actually went the route with the craft se jordan retro fours which i have right here as you can see they embossed or debossed however way you're looking at it so they kind of stole you know that form where right here on both sides so there's no netting and what i mean by that the netting i have my fire reds right here as you can see right here how it's more of a netting right here on the sides and then on the tongue they have netting this isn't this is embossed or debossed however way you want to look at it and then also the same thing with the tongue up top like usually you'll have you know the patch up here with the flight and the Jordan sign the, uh, the Jordan logo um, but these ones actually the SE crafts they have it too the patch but these ones are but these ones are actually embossed as you can see which is pretty cool you know which is pretty cool um some people was actually complaining about that just because the fact that it's not patched so therefore when you start wearing these 
and you know the more you wear your shoes the more you wear and tear and the more you scuff them up this can actually kind of you know disappear with all the scuffs and stuff same thing with the the embossed or debossed however however you want to put it on the sides right here where the netting should be but i mean hey it is what it is on the back i'm so happy they didn't put the nike air logo on the back they wind up just putting you know the jordan sign on the back i think that was a nice little touch because this isn't an og this isn't an old og colorway so i thought that was a pretty cool touch and yeah that's pretty much for for this shoe um like i said retail at 225 and i think on some sites these are still sitting for retail um I got these for retail, so you will definitely have to look to see if they're still sitting for retail. Um, and I think like resale value isn't too crazy, I wanna say, um, especially with the market right now, the market is down, which is if you're a reseller, that sucks, but if you're not a reseller and you're just here to just to collect shoes, um, this is a perfect opportunity to jump on that because the shoe market is kind of, to me, it's kind of like stocks, you know, sometimes depending on, you know, the day or whatever the case may be, they can spike up. Sometimes it spikes down. And right now we're at a low with the shoe market. So I think this is a perfect time to hop on a shoe that you may want, especially these. I mean, these go for 225 retail and you know, that that's kind of a lot, but with the materials and everything that this shoe has, I believe that 225 really is not a bad deal for these shoes and like i said the materials are top notch i would say that they're a little stiff but that's what happens when you got great material on a shoe you're just gonna have to break them in but other than that i would go true to size with these like I, i'm a size nine so with these i'll stick to a size nine if you have a wide foot then maybe i would you know up it a half a size or if you just want more room if you have a normal foot and you just want more room um and you don't want really that uh i guess that true to size fit then i would go up a half a size for a snug fit i'd say you could go down a, a half a size so you'll go down to an eight and a half for more of a snug fit but with jordans i always stay true to size so i always stay size nine true to size and you can't go wrong with that but that's it for the review and guys, make sure you guys subscribe, like this channel. We have more sneakers coming soon. And yeah, and once again, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I appreciate you guys for commenting, liking, subscribe. Let me know down below if you are going to cop a pair of these. Is this a pass or a cop for you guys? And let me know what you guys think. I absolutely love these shoes. And we will... See you next time. Peace.